Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to episode 36 of my player on FIFA 19. After beating Barcelona in the last one, but unfortunately losing to top of the table Atletico Madrid, we now face the side that's right next to us in the league, Hetafe. Following that, we have uh, games against Ibar and Espanyol, who are the side that are chasing us for a Europa League spot, as well as Hetafe. So, not big opponents with regards to the size of club, but massive fixtures with regards to the league table today. And then tomorrow, it's Atleti in the Copa del Rey final, as well as Real Madrid away from home at the Bernabeu at the end of the league season. So, big opponents tomorrow, big fixtures today. Massive end to the season here at Valencia with our future at the club hanging in the balance. We shall start with Hatafe and we shall hope to batter them. Here. Played inside to Daniel Bass. Sick to Vass. I call for a through ball. I'm going to get the shot off early. Oh, could. Oh, Guedes has run past it. We've had to wait so long for a clear cut chance to arrive. And it's a good save by the keeper to keep me out. That might drop to me, but it hasn't. Hacked away by a defender. Guedes, the ball was right there. And he's just run past it. The keeper was still out of position. The opportunity to try and get a chance on target. And he's. He's just not taking it. Kondogbia oh, kicks that straight against the defender in front of him. Impossibly frustrating first half. Just that one chance created. Now here come Hatafe on the counter. A draw is enough for us to stay with Hatafe, obviously, because we're level on points in the league. But it would mean that the game against Espanyol would be even bigger at the end of the episode. Because if Espanyol win, if we draw here against Hatafe, then Espanyol have the chance to go above both of us if they then... If they win both of their games, we don't necessarily do that well in game number two today. And Espanyol can beat us in game number three. We need a win here, really, to ensure that we're going to finish in the top six and get European football next season at Valencia. Even with just Europa League football, I'm not sure whether we'll, we'll stay at Valencia, whether we will look to try and move to a Champions League side. Whether we'll actually be able to or not remains to be seen. But I may still look and just see what options are available. At the end of the season. But we would like to guarantee finishing fifth if we can. And avoid any potential slip-ups along the way. Ball could come back in here from Pulisic. I've called for the cross. There it is. There's the header. Oh. That far away. Wide of the target. Nil-nil at half-time. Good header by Diakabi. Socrates gets to it. Here's Guedes. Back to Socrates again. Fast to Rodrigo. Call for the through ball and played in. I poked that. Oh, I can't get it to Guedes. When they said to please Diakabi. Well up, son. Daniel Vass picks up the loose ball. I'll get it inside there to Rodrigo. He could come back to me here. I'm in a decent position. Really it was. Plissic. Rodrigo. Oh, I had the keeper sprinting across his goal. I wasn't sure where it was going to end up. On his right foot wide. It took a deflection as well. Corner to come in from this near side. Diakabi with a header straight at David Saria. Missing away from the defender here. The obvious ball is Gonzalo Guedes. Can he find a teammate? There's plenty obviously in the box. I'm going to pull off here. He's going to look for Rodrigo who can't win the header. He's going to drop to Kazawa. Here's Coquelin. He'll find me. Oh, he spun well. And the shot is blocked. Rodrigo! How's he missed that? How's he not gotten that on target? He's on his own. The ball's just dropped free to him from 12 yards. And he can't even hit it between the sticks. Not good enough, Rodrigo. Start to Sabali. To Arambari. It's a tough eight. Whoa, hello. Some fancy footwork. Right, now, 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 now. I'll play it over the top. Oh, it's not going to reach him. Jordan Lukaku will find me again. Oh, and again. My guy just doesn't keep the ball close to his feet at times. His close control is just not good enough. Headed away by Diakabi, back in towards the danger zone. Kazawa gets it away. Jordan Lukaku forward. Rodrigo. Jordan Lukaku will call for a through ball. Rodrigo plays me in, but it's a poor pass. And that will probably be game and is a nil-nil draw between ourselves and Hetafe. With so much on the line, neither side willing to risk anything. And in the end, a pretty tame nil-nil draw. The only highlight on the match highlights board is the miss from Rodrigo that he really should have gotten on target but didn't depending how espanol got on 
this particular match day, our Europa League spot is in question. Ooh, four points the gap. It could be even closer by the time we play Espanyol in match day three of today's episode. But we've Ibar next. And a win is desperately important. We're giving that straight to me from kickoff. Here, Eibar. And that into Tyler Roberts. Oh, to Pulisic to Tyler Roberts again. Out to Pulisic again. A call for the cross. It's a good one. Well, what a start. Valencia won. Ibar nil inside two and a half minutes. They gave the ball straight to me. And then we build up the move. And to be fair, I've headed that straight at the keeper. But it's from such close range. He's barely had a chance to react. In the last episode, my heading went up by three. That's my 150th shot on target of my career. That certainly came in handy there. Valencia won Ibar nil after just two minutes, 20 seconds. Michael Hector. Hector, forward to really Stefan Jovetic, says Yerik Jovetic straight at the keeper Neto. Neto the I think that has no to be the earliest or quickest goal of my entire career, doesn't it? I don't think we've scored any earlier than 2 minutes 20 seconds so far in our career. Certainly the quickest goal of our career so far. and We might be able to get a 2-0 lead here, but unfortunately the defenders cut it out. They nearly made it 1-1 with that effort from Stefan Jovetic, but... We'll stay just the one goal to nil to the good for now. But this game is very stretched. Flying from end to end. Here's Castro in the box at the other end again. Dinking it in, looking for Jovatic. Headed away by Lima. Mendy brings it down and Castro could try again. But very well defended from Christian Pulisic of all people back there. We'll stay at one nil now as we head towards the 20th minute. Another good header from me. Pulisic finds Tyler Roberts and we're building again. I'll call for the through ball. And Daniel Vass sends me away. I'm on my left foot. So it probably won't be the best of finishes. But it's still good enough. Valencia 2, Ibar nil after 20 minutes. This is exactly what we needed and so much better. Forward into me. I'm going to have to play it off to a team. I've got too many defenders in front of me. Oh, very nearly able to slowly play Tyler Roberts in around the corner there. Christian Pulisic. The throw back to Lima. Gets away well from one defender. Here's Kondogbia. I've dropped outside the box, but Lima's played in. Oh, he hit that well enough, didn't he? That was a very well-struck shot. Oh, intercepted by Kondogbia. I'll look to send Tyler Roberts in behind. Please tell me you were on Sid here. Tyler, he was. Wow. Oh, that just went straight up. It only just come down. <laughs> Lovely through ball. Decent attempt, but the keeper just completely knocked off his feet there. Hell of a save. Corner's going to come in from that far side. It's over me. Who's going to win that header? Kondogbia. Tom Heaton. Right behind it again. Never thought you'd see Tom Heaton at Ibar in Spain, did you? Really good save from Tyler Roberts. And then equally impressive from the corner. Unfortunately for him, though, he's already conceded two. And we will go in at the break. Still 2-0 in front. Pump that out wide there to Levan Kazawa. Inside to Kondogbia. Across to Daniel Vass. Across to Kondogbia again. Could come through that gap. Hasn't. Cornelius! Did that take a deflection? I think it did, or was it just that wide? No, it was genuinely just that bad. Cornelius come on at half time here. Surprised to see the manager make a change so early on. It's quite rare in player career mode for the manager of the team you're playing for to make such a drastic change so early on. But maybe he's quite happy with a 2 0 lead and wants to give Cornelius a little bit of game time. I'm not sure. He's going to have to perform and finish better than that, though, if he wants to maintain his game time. Tyler Roberts might not have scored in the 45 minutes he was on the pitch, but he certainly had efforts that were better than that. Kondogbia, out wide to Kazawa. Inside to Kondogbia again. Daniel Vass are backing away. I've got a bit of space to let fly for my hat-trick. It's blocked well by a defender. Now we're in a situation where I can be slightly more greedy than normal. Corner coming in here from out wide. And, oh, that's why Cornelius is on the pitch. With 3-0 up. Well, I think you might hear that was much better than his previous one. Bowing in front of the fans. Well done, sir. I criticised him after his poor effort earlier on. He's fired back. That was a very, very good header. Flicked on at the near post. And just finding its way inside the far. 3-0, game over. Three points. Thank you very much. Jovetic to Mendy. Jovetic again. Oh, nice ball through. Enric, finish. Great goal. GG, Ibar. That was 
absolutely brilliant. Jovetic's well, touch was great, really plays the one-two, and, and then first really time outside the boot, first time, well, first time outside the boot pass, first time outside the boot shot. Bang. Great goal. Fair play. Well done. There's a little bit of time left for them to make it a little bit nervy for us, but thanks to that third goal from Cornelius, we're not quite as yellow-bellied as we might well have been had it been 2-1, that's for sure. Klisic into me, we could even make it 4-1. If we're successful on this move, Ratic out wide to Polisic, overlapping his lima. Call for the cross, it's decent. Oh, but it's headed away by the man at the near post. Told me, bad call for pass there, out wide. And inside to me. Oh, I tried to back in and turn and shoot, and I couldn't. Play that quickly to Cornelius. He could give it to Kondogbia, and it's not 4-1, but it very nearly was. Ten minutes to go, they're making another change. I'd love a hat-trick. I'd absolutely love a hat-trick. But it's not to be. Not yet, at least. Play that over the top, looking for Pulisic. He's going to have the pace to get on the end of it. I hope. Yes, there he is. The ball finds its way into the box. Maybe. I'll call for it here from Kondogbia. He'll find me. Just dink that. And flicked on. And out for a corner from the defender. Okay, I thought for a minute. The attacker would flick that on, and it was just a terrible shot on goal. That's not going to reach me, nor did it reach Pulisic, for that matter. Three minutes added on at the end of the game. We have a huge game coming up against Espanyol, and if we lose it, then despite this win, our... That took a deflection. Despite this win, our position in the Europa League spots will still be under threat, especially with Real Madrid away on the final day of the season. But this victory... Ooh, side netting only. This victory has been absolutely perfectly timed just what we needed and when we needed it too after stumbling through a couple of results recently especially in games against teams like Sporting Girona where we really should be picking up victories and convincing victories at that getting a one like this away from home against Ibar is very very important we were able to beat Barcelona which was massive we couldn't do the same to Atleti which was expected, but still oh, frustrating. But we are able to do it here against Eibar. It all depends on what Espanyol have done in their particular match day as well. Because, of course, we drew to Hetafe. But Hetafe might have won and Espanyol might have won also, which means the gap would still be four points. And if we lose to Espanyol on the final day, yeah, the gap is four points. So if we now lose to Espanyol, they will be a point behind us with one game to go. And that one game for us, at least, will be against Real Madrid at the Santiago Bernabeu. So we may well have a Copa del Rey final coming up. But this next game against Espanyol, to this point at least, is the biggest game of the entire league season. Evie played in down the left-hand side. Cross width. Dangerously played back in here, perhaps by Karim Bellarabi of all people playing for Espanyol. We've also got Zoot in goal, the Dutch goalkeeper, and Jack Wilshere in midfield as well. So a number of familiar names from other European leagues in this Espanyol starting lineup. Are we going to be able to get? If we win this, then we're guaranteed Europa League football at Valencia next year. Guaranteed because we'll be. Uh, well out of Espanyol's reach with one game to go. If we draw, actually, I believe we're guaranteed because the gap is four points. Pulisic very nearly. The gap is four points, so a draw here would still see us out of Espanyol's reach for the final day. But, obviously, we would like to win if we can. Ratic, oh, into me. <laughs> yes, I think miscue is probably the best word for it, isn't it, Martin Tyler? Oh, I've pulled that horribly. Lima with the throw. Pulisic brings it down. Down the line to Lima. Early pass. ball in. Oh, tried to get there, but couldn't quite. Fancy first touch from the man in the middle. Good drop of the shoulder there. Rodrigo back to Ratic. Inside to Kadogbia. I'm in a bit of space here, but he's got to find Rodrigo, who finishes with a plum. That goal might well confirm European football for Valencia next season. Rodrigo makes it Valencia 1, Espanyol 0. Gazal with a throw. Guedes back to Levan. To Gonzalo Guedes again. There's the delivery. Made away by a defender. Under hit. Gazawa into Kondogbia. In there nicely to Rodrigo. Call for the cross. It's deflected and out for a corner. 
Something at the end of stoppage time, maybe. Ooh, maybe. Maybe. Oh, good save. It's going to drop. No, it's not. Well headed away by the defender. I wasn't confident of getting to that header, but I was able to do it. And very nearly got us a second goal there. Is that another corner? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Opportunity again to make it 2-0. Oh, shoot. Oh, that goes top bins. I explode. 1-0 at half time. Ratchet to Kondogby up and make the run down the line. Oh, I was just about to call for that, but he gave it to Guedes, but never mind. Kazal will find me. Got Rodrigo there with me. We'll go short to Ratchet. He might find Rodrigo now and does so. And here is the Spaniard around the corner there to Pulisic. Into Rodrigo, who turns and shoots. It drops back to him. Oh, Ooh, is that a pass back? Maybe. Might have just been a, a simple tackle attempt on Rodrigo, but he certainly pokes it back to his goalkeeper. Ratic off and Francis Coquelin on. Clearly the manager going slightly more defensive now as we look to hold on to our 1-0 lead rather than overly commit to trying to build on it. Again, a point is enough. It's a good header. Since getting that plus three upgrade, we have definitely been better aerially. We weren't exactly terrible before, but we've definitely been even better. That's a good cross too. Tried to get there. Like I just kind of wobbled in midair for a moment there as Zoot was trying to punch that clear. Coquelin will find me. I'll spin. We've got much room here. Drop the shoulder on the defender. Well, that's oh, actually going quite a way off target. Never mind. Seven minutes to go. An up and down time for us at Valencia so far. But I'm happy enough with how things have gone to this point in the season. Two minutes added on here at the end of the game. We've got nine goals, nine assists in what I believe this will be our 26th game for Valencia. So it's, it's decent. 19, oh sorry, 18 goal contributions in 26 games is pretty good. It is pretty good. It's not similar to the level we were playing at in Brazil. But it was obviously a lower level of opposition we were playing against in Brazil. So we got the golden boot and we got the league win down in uh, South America. But we have guaranteed ourselves at least Europa League football for Valencia next season. Whether we'll still be here or not remains to be seen. I'll probably do a vote at the end of the next episode tomorrow. But Atletico Madrid our top and we face them tomorrow but we also face second place Real Madrid who are guaranteed to finish second so they've nothing to play for we do have fifth or sixth place to play for and as you can see Atletico Madrid our champions of La Liga confirmed so we'll play the final two games of the season tomorrow Real Madrid away in the league and then Atletico Madrid in the Copa del Rey final and probably have a vote as to what you guys think we should do with our future but for now that's all for today's episode thank you very much for watching drop the video a like if you enjoyed make sure you subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's episode there'll be a newcastle video later on today as well of course i believe actually what i believe is that my mic cut out at this particular moment but the point i was making was is that episode one of season four of newcastle comes out later on this afternoon so make sure that you check the channel page for that at four o'clock